Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Citizen Sleeper. And in the last episode, guys, the Overlook got a brand new name in the Batian. That was a very wholesome moment. But we also had a moment of borderline despair when we found out that the corporation behind the Sidereal Horizon screwed over most of the people that helped build it. Yeah, imagine that, a corporation screwing over its workers. This is pure science fiction. But uh, fortunately, we were able to get out of there before the panic became a full-blown just, you know, catastrophe. But now we're really worried about um, Lem. And now we failed that drive. I'm not exactly sure how we failed it. It may be um, involved as part of the plot. I guess we'll find out. Lem needs to talk to us here in about three days, and we'll find out what he wants to do. And it looks like the Sidereal Horizon will be... Oh, it's moving the horizon to the hub here in about three cycles. So everything's still kind of connected. Maybe that story will uh, pan out here soon. But we do have, it's a new day. We've got six dice. We have the ability to use salvage uh, to repair ourselves a little now. And I guess we need to go ahead and continue on with what we were doing. Now we need to go ahead and find the relay. Yannick has asked you to collect his medicine from his office. Now is the only chance to find that S and Arp relay. So it seems like a perfect opportunity to uh, use this six dice. You spot the countermeasure on the drawer moments before you touch it. This has to be it, but you can't rush it. You look at the countermeasure on the drawer. It looks like some kind of shock trap. If you grab the drawer, you likely have thousands of volts running through your system right now. You wince. Once you find the anchor points, it comes away easily enough. You prize it from the drawer quickly and quietly, then listen for footsteps in the corridor outside. Nothing. All clear for now. You slide the drawer open looking for other countermeasures that might be inside, expecting to see a chunk of tech, the relay. But as you slip it open, all you see is a handful of wires and an empty implant cradle. Is this some kind of mistake? You freeze for a moment, unsure what to do next. Why keep an implant cradle so carefully guarded? You remember Yannick having an implant a small plate on the side of his head, just above his ear. You assumed it was for hearing or vision. Those shimmering glasses of his come back to you in your memory. His strange movements. His speech. You look again at the cradle, and there it is. Printed on the frame. Proprietary technology. Property of Essenarp. Rabias said the relay moved, that they couldn't get a fix on it. What if... Yannick was the relay. The thought hits you like a shock. Yannick, with a remote relay implanted in his head, networked to every single implanted enforcer in the low end. A shudder runs through you. Is he even in control? Or has Essenarp wormed its way into the man? Could he even be considered separate from the corporation itself? You think of your own legal status as proprietary technology. A puppet with cut strings. Time to cut Yannick's strings, then. You reach around inside the cradle and find it. A remote connection. A tiny bead of a transmitter. Likely controlling the link to SNARP. There it is. You pause for a moment. And then you squeeze it. Snap it from the frame and it crumples sparks, and dies. It takes a moment before the shouts come, before the scream, and you're already on your way out, down the corridor, down through the unit that serves as the lobby to Yannick's office. Then out onto the walkway where Yannick lies still, enforcers gathered around him bemused. Um, we don't need to walk up, that's just going to let people suspect what happened. Let's go ahead and just leave. Cool, calm, and collected. You've seen enough. The connection is cut, and whatever Yannick was, or had become, 
is gone. Your anger is a hard core in your chest, and all of it focused on Essenarp. Whew. Remote control achievement unlocked. The low end is wild with stories about Yannick's death. You're still waiting for Rabia to get in touch, but you trust that she will. Okay. Well, we kind of just committed a murder, <laughs> in a way. But, uh, I guess that is what it is. Alright, now we have the ability to cook uh, Matsutake caps. Now, do we need actual cooked caps for Emphasis Meal? Um, just the caps in general. Hmm. So, let's go ahead and I think we're... We are actually done right now with drives in this area, guys. Let's go ahead and head up and see how long we got to go until Bliss is ready for a new job. Two cycles. Alrighty. So it looks like we'll be using the rest of our dice today over in the Greenway. Alright, Mushroom Groves... Germinate spores. Actually, we need one more spore, so let's go ahead and do that. Two grove spores. And what else was needed here? Yeah, we needed either Matsutake samples or regular samples of the mushrooms. So it looks like we're going to be doing a lot of growing over here. Um, let's see what happens here. Here in the fungal beds. And fungal growth. The spores need time to germinate and spread in the aviary. The indirect sun of a few cycles should help them along. Cool. Um, then I'm still, I don't want to um, head over here to the climbing briar and the escaped XPR ship until we're done with stuff over here. Because they did say that that content was more endgame. I'm not sure when endgame is, though. But uh, we'll figure it out, I guess. Okay, barter for food. Don't need to do that. So it's kind of weird. I usually, there we go. I was like, something's wrong. I usually uh, look at the eye from the right side. So now, let's go ahead and... This is just risky. That is dangerous for the fungus. So let's go ahead and try this. Get some more uh, spores. Reroll our dice. Ah, much better. And we'll do. Since we're waiting on everything, we can go ahead and and we don't have our our food and everything is fine. Dope. Oh. I had to say something, didn't I? And let's get some caps here. Since that's the dangerous one. Now to the labs. And see what's on the slab. Oh, we didn't need those the spores anymore, did we? Whoops. So that's two. So we need one, two, three, four. We need one, two, three, four, five. We need five more mushroom samples here and I bet you like once we're done with uh, the aviary maybe that's where we get the Matsutake caps cool that works for me now we're just on everyone else's time let's go ahead and get some food Now that emphasis 
stand is back up to full. And crow, feed our stray. All right. See what a new day brings us. Oh, that's some good. Those are good dice. Okay, lemon mina's unit. See, that's red, which doesn't give me a whole lot of confidence. I'll tell you the gods, honest. Um, we already bought everything here, right? Yes, we did. Um, we can get two ship mine fragments. Do we want to try it, though? Just so we can get some additional coin. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Just so if we get another one, we'll be able to get some more money. An investment for the future. Um, Matsutake caps... I wonder why we need them cooked in that, in this case. Hmm. Cereals taking two to go. Just making sure I'm not missing anything. You know how it can go sometime. Caster's table. Nope. Alrighty. Back to the Greenway, then. This is actually in the background. is my favorite music in the game. Okay, to the Groves. Um, was it caps or spores? I need to check something. Because we may actually have a way of getting rid of some of these spores. Over at the Exchange, was it... Oh. Okay, never mind. They want Matsutake as well. That is a very important commodity on the station now. So let's go... Forge for the fungus. Just keep on doing that today, I guess. got our energy back. That's good. Alright. So that gives us two. To the labs. Don't know if I'm doing this in, in the correct order. We may want to wait until the Matsutake is available, but meh. Okay, halfway there. Do I want to risk... I'll tell you what. We'll go ahead and go with this one and then we'll re-roll that too. Worth a shot. At least we're getting energy back. There we go. And then all we need is two more and we'll be done. With that section. Did we... Well, I guess we could try and get scrap components if we absolutely needed to, but that doesn't seem to heal a whole lot. This game, besides being chill, is such a great example of risk versus reward. Kind of gaming. This puts you in those kind of situations where you're like, do I want to go get scrap or do I want to wait to get myself another stim? This can go all kinds of different directions. All right. Another chill day in paradise. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, both of those freighters are going to be... Oh. Oh, there you go. A sleeper. Moritz is waiting for you on your way out. How have you been? Oh, busy. I see, I see. He nods. Well, I'll get right to it then. Bliss sent me down. We've scored another contract and she needs your help. That's the message. He pauses. Look, I know last time the payment didn't come through, but you did good work. Blitz knows that. It's no problem. Okay, then. He pauses again. She's doing her best, you know? I know. He nods. See you up there. Moritz turns and strides off, leaving you in the corridor. Time to help Bliss. And maybe this time, you think to yourself, it'll work out. Okay, a lot is going to happen here in the next few days. So, let's go ahead and head up. This may be another one of those time-sensitive jobs. Sycamore Seed. Haifa Farm Freighter. Reinforced bulkheads. Oh. The sycamore seed needs to be reinforced and sealed, otherwise the crop will be lost. Um, the sycamore seed's internal biome is in trouble. Every action will bring it closer to collapse. Really? So we have one critical action here, and then the re- Oh. Okay, well, let's make sure this lasts. So if we fail, that's going to add a lot to Fragile Biome, but it's also going to add five, it's going to take almost half of saving the crop. Let's do it. I love critical actions. There we go. So, we need to be very, very careful here in what we're going to be doing. So it's a safe action, at least. So we basically we're having to um, beat. It's a race of clocks here. Every single one will raise it up, right? Yes, indeed. Well, we'll have that done. That won't be a problem. Ascend to the rim. Back to the greenway. Much better. Okay, to the groves, to the groves. At least we'll get some energy back. Okay, good. Uno mas. Cool. You know what? I'll I'll take that. Now, what do we want to use that two dice for? Fungal growth is still going. Well, I mean, if we're still good on food, and still good on everything else, let's go ahead and throw that into one more forage run. See if we can do it. Big bucks, no whammies. We're going to get whammied. Yeah, we just got our energy. Alright. Well, we made some progress with Bliss already. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, fix that situation, but this is about to blow up in our faces, whatever's going on here. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and crash out here in the old, <laughs> the old digs. self-repair dice are garbage lemon mina let's see what's going on okay hold on okay the sidereal horizon's gone which means is it in the process of moving oh no it's already there good lord
Hopefully this isn't a bad ending. There's no answer when you buzz Lem's unit, but the door is open. You push the door and find Mina, sitting in the middle of the floor, playing with Bun Bun. Hi, Mina. Hi, robot, says Mina sullenly, waving Bun Bun's paw without looking up. How are you? Bun Bun is sad, says Mina, nodding the toy's head in agreement. Like daddy. You look around the unit. It's a mess. Dishes and glasses on the side. Some of Mina's clothes piled up in a corner. Mina is sitting by her bag, which is spilled out across the floor. Her drawing slate cracked and dark. Um, let's go ahead and tidy up. You start with the kitchen units, piling up the dishes in the auto wash and wiping them down. You pile the clothes up next, folding them neatly. Mina watches you quietly as she plays, curious but silent. You just started to look at fixing her cracked slate when Lem enters. Sleeper, what are you- He pauses and looks from you to Mina and back again. Never mind. He drops a bag by the door and slumps onto the couch. Everything okay? Lem lets out a weak laugh. <laughs> you forgot the past few cycles now, too? Wish I was so lucky. He looks away at the open door. Look, now's not a good time. I want to help. <laughs> help? Unless you have a sidereal ticket on or two on you, I don't think there's much you can do here. He pinches the bridge of his nose. You understand they never even put us on the list, right? I've been all around the rim looking for work, and I've run into more than a few from the crews. It turns out only long-time Haven Age members were issued those Celis ID numbers. They never planned to consider us. Haven Age say they didn't know that was what they were going to use to make the draw. And who knows, maybe Celis pulled the wool over their eyes. But what does it matter? All those hours in the yards for a hand-to-mouth wage and nothing else. He slams his hand down on the sofa. That can't be it. Well, it is. He looks at the open door again. They're moving the sidereal up the hub, now you know. He says without meeting your eye. That's where it'll depart from. They're bringing in a ship with all their cryo-sleeper pioneers and transferring them up there in microgravity before the loading the crew. We could sneak aboard. You think they're just going to let people on board? The security there they'll have has to be impossible. He looks over at Mina. Look, we'll be fine. We've always we always have been. I. Just need a little time, he sighs. We had our hearts set on this trip is all. Mina comes over and climbs into his lap. He smiles. What if I got you on board? I'll miss you these past few cycles. I miss that optimism. Lem strokes Mina's hair. Look, you want to go up to the hub and ask around, you be my guest. I can't get up there with Mina down here, but I'm sure the Sidereal will bring in a crowd. But be careful. This kind of thing always attracts scammers and thieves. You find any way, way on board, you take it. You need help to get there? You ask me. But for now, me and Meanie are, st are here sticking to the eye. She looks up at him and smiles. Thanks, Slim. Well, I don't know. I'll find a way for us all. I don't know if the sleeper would necessarily want to leave the eye, though. Let's just say thanks for right now. Thanks, Slim. No. Thank you, sleeper. For coming by. You stand to leave and Mina grabs your hand, eager to give you one more smile. Then you're out. Back in the walkways of the low end. 
already thinking of plans to make this right. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and head over to the hub and see what exactly we need to do. We'll stop over at the uh, Sycamore Seed while we're here. Sidereal Dock. Scout the dock. Away on board. The Sidereal is being loaded and prepped among all the commotion. Is it possible to find a way on board? You hope against hope that there's a chink in the Sidereal Horizon's vast armor. Only one way to find out. Time to use our substandard dice. You ask a few of the off-duty workers about schedules and systems, and get a few useful tips. Alright, re-roll. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. Okay, um, let's go ahead and do this. Let's head to the Sycamore Seed. Let's throw in a nice... Let's go ahead and do this and save the crop. Possibly, hopefully, maybe. Ugh. We're still gonna win the race. Okay, to the Descender car? I wanna get these um, mushroom caps dealt with. To the groves, to the groves. And this is this is dangerous, so. This will get us our last cap. Lovely. And there we go. Let's see what Rico has to say. Rico meets you at the entrance of the lab, leaning on her crutch with a glint in her eye. Walk with me, sleeper. I'd like to tell you a story. She makes her way down the corridor that leads back up towards the main commune building. When people first crossed what we call Founder's Gap into the Greenway, they did so against the wishes of Andre Erlen. At the time, Erlen was trying to stabilize the Union and establish control over the Eye in the wake of Solheim's collapse. It was chaos. Competing factions, failing systems, so many dead and injured from the riots. That was his priority. You'll stay a while and listen. You both crawl th cross through a glass roof tunnel, the greenway outside crowded with vines and branches, dappling the light. Erlen had ridden the greenway off. Cut off from the rest of the station and linked to a broken spoke, he claimed it was only a matter of time before everything here would die. He refused to let anyone abandon their duty to the Union and Cross. They were traitors to the cause, or as good as. Rico continues, making her slow but steady way into the inner gardens of the commune. There weren't many of us, but we believed what was here was worth saving. We had to keep our plan secret until we crossed, and some of us left people behind. She pauses to catch her breath, her voice cracking. It's difficult to know if from effort or emotion. What we found was a disaster. Nothing like what you see here. Half of the greenway was leaking oxygen into space, the plants flash frozen. The other half with a swamp of mulch as decaying matter clogged every system. We worked hard. We lost good people. We cleaned up and closed up, but it was never going to be enough. After many, many cycles, we all knew this place was doomed, but we kept on working, talking less and less because we couldn't face it. We all developed a death wish. If the Greenway was going to die, so would we. So what changed? Everything. Rico smiles. We crossed some invisible boundary, tipped some biological scale, and the greenway started to recover. Plants flowered, crops sprouted. For the first time, we reaped the fruits of our labor. Rico smiles, looking up at you. We thought it was us, 
that we managed to do just enough to end the cycle of decay. I thought we had saved the Greenway. Until today. You pass into the grove beds of the commune, rich with the hustle and bustle of Haifa members planting and harvesting. For a while, Rico is quiet, and you will simply observe the hypnotic movements of the work crews, the eager chatter washing over you like a wave. Rico smiles to herself. I should have known, of course, that our arrogance was unfounded, but we needed to believe back then. We needed a myth to bring more people across the gap. You both move into a smaller corridor, Rico following some direction unknown to you. What you have shown me is that back then, the Greenway saved us, not the other way around. Tell me, have you ever consumed one of the Matsutake or Goro caps you have been growing? Yes. I imagine they were delicious, nutritious, and almost uniquely so, she muses. After all, they were designed for you. Rico has a mischievous look. At first I thought it was the location they were grown that made the mushrooms th th from the aviary, from the labs, or from the grove different to each other. But what I have come to understand is that it is the person growing them. The Matsutake and Goro caps you brought me are totally unique, containing compounds never usually found in similar species in my possession. Many of these compounds aren't even digestible for humans. But for a sleeper like you... Rico smiles as she leads you into the internal garden of the commune, where the Haifa members have planted species from all over the Greenway. Back when the tide turned, when the Greenway started to recover, we all felt something. A response. It was as if this place was not just alive, as a forest is alive, but alive in other ways. Communicative. Responsive. We shrugged it off at the time, but now I understand why. Rico stops and turns to you. This place is responding to us, adapting itself to us. It is growing fruiting bodies for you, for me. It is adapting, changing. It is, in short, displaying all signs of sentience. The Greenway is sentient? Uh, perhaps not the Greenway, but the ecosystem itself, or something within it. And then we think about what's going on um, on the grid with the gardener. Rico sits on a bench within the peaceful gardens and gestures for you to join her. When you have been growing the Gorols and the Matsutakes in the aviary, those species so familiar to the Greenway, have you discovered any others? Yes, I think we have. Rico can barely contain her excitement. I should like to see those. Please bring me some next time you're here. You look around the garden, amazed at the sense of peace within it. Rico interrupts the silence. There's a species of mushroom that I haven't seen in years. It is dark, short, shaped like a club. We first found it in those early days when we were working to save this place. It was around the time that we started to lose our first members. They were succumbing to some infection, some mold growing deep in the dark mulch that drowned this place. At that point, we thought we were lost, and then these mushrooms emerged from that same black mold. We tested them and saw that they contained some compounds that counteracted the mold. They contained an antidote. Of course, as a botanist, I saw this as part of the natural processes of this ecosystem, even if the timescale seemed absurdly short. But what I am wondering is if that antidote was a gift. Rico meets your eyes. Perhaps if you are patient, you will receive your gift too, sleeper. You both sit for a while, Rico seemingly done telling stories for today. You watch the light playing off the leaves and plants around you and wonder what forces could be at play in this place. After a while, you stand and leave, with a quiet nod to Rico, leaving her to her memories. Interesting. 
So I think it definitely has to deal with that, like a combination of technology and organics, like biotech. That'd be really cool. Oh, Lord, I just looked at the time. Okay, uh, we ran a little bit over today, just a bit. But I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, when we get back, we'll go ahead and use this last dice, call it a day, and see what other trouble we can get into. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.